Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So many of you have seen this frame in the background sitting and um, this is the quadcopter I built for my birthday. Uh, I just wanted to build it just to chillax and just uh, not have the camera on my face while I do it. I just want something for myself really. And um, you know many of you have seen it and they're just, uh, just constantly asking me what is it, what is it. And this is the Mocha Jadina frame. And um, it's just absolutely sexy. I'm sorry. This is the sexiest frame I've ever got until this day. I don't know how it performs. I still have not flown it. It's like brand freaking new i don't even know if the motor's rotating in the correct direction yet i haven't even tested anything about it yet i plugged it in make sure it's working they do arm and um that that's it i haven't done anything else to it just yet so i might make a video of how to go through beta flight if someone wants to see that um so right now the components i'm rocking on this guy before we go into the frame is the asgard maytech vtx and we were using a fly sky receiver which is stackable so i basically have a three stack and two half stacks so the asgard would be on the bottom here and then the fly sky would be on this side of the stack. And then the Maytech, oh no, the Maytech, oh, I forgot actually. Yeah, I was correct. The fly sky here and the Maytech here. And it fit just perfect. So uh, you do have to get creative. As you can see, I did some kind of double mounting in there just so I could possibly either fit my battery through here or here. It's supposed to be a top mount battery. Um, however, something like this is just going to be pretty scary next to the pearls for my for, it's too close for my taste you know i'm I'll probably be afraid i'll probably just mount it on the bottom just be um cool with it that'll be totally fine for me however this thing has some pretty awesome features one thing it's a five inch and it's a stretch x and the carbon is absolutely beautiful i know this from their other frame which was only using one millimeter and just had foam padding in the middle on another one millimeter and it's just holding up to some insane crashes so the carbon, no doubt, is good. I've had ones that were 4 millimeter Chinese that broke, but it wasn't things that I put on the channel. Uh, that was just, yeah. Anyways, so the carbon is good. I know for sure they're using good quality carbon here. That's one thing. Um, the upper plate here is 1.5 millimeters. I wish they would go a little bit higher, but it's 1.5 millimeters. It's pretty stiff. And uh, the bottom plate is also 1.5 millimeters. The arms here are vertical. This is going for a vertical arm, so I would recommend some kind of 4-in-1 ESC or some kind of, you know, um, what are they, NASCAR, really. NASCAR just fit absolutely beautiful on this guy. Uh, so it is 5 millimeters here. It's 5 millimeters wide, I would say. And, um, you know, there's something super, super crazy about this. You could change this into a V-tail. So you can actually take this screw, lift it up here, take that screw, lift it up here, and you can get your motors to do this. That's pretty insane. You can also do that in the front, but um, I don't know how how the characteristics will be of such a thing i've never tested i've never flown a v-tail so um i will definitely do it and try it out and i've also noticed one thing that's pretty cool so this is a five inch i put six inch propellers and they fit i mean they fit perfect in a way where the, the propellers don't hit each other the back would be totally clear but the front here um Right, when you just spin them loose they wouldn't hit here but i could see it when when you has uh, when you're flying it's going to hit against the frame here but i think if we sand this down and put six inch on it, it i think it's going to be insane i have no idea what to expect i want to i'm going to try so many things with this guy um it's going to be pretty cool so again uh this frame uh, without anything was around 112 grams uh, i made sure i measured it just in case you want to know what it is i have not flown it we'll be flying it very soon seeing its characteristics um it's using the brother hobby r5 motors 2306 2400 2450 kv and uh, Fox here V2, I didn't want that, but that's all I had in the house. And um, yeah, let's check its overall end weight here. 318 grams, just like this with no battery and propellers. But everything is on there, so even the antenna. So it's 318 grams. It's not the lightest, it's not the heaviest, but, you know, um, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's gorgeous. Look at this. This just goes down like a Ferrari or Lamborghini. I don't know what to tell you guys. This is just insane. By the way, the frame, the let's just say this call them the side plates. Side plates are 7075 aluminum, which is these red parts here. And each arm is held with two screws. And each motor arm that's holding a motor is held with two screws, as you can see right here. And uh, this is nothing. This is if you want to switch it to a V-tail, you would unscrew this and you would lift it like that and put it in, and it'll be a V-tail. So it's pretty crazy. Um, and um, this is three millimeters thick here, the, the the carbon that's holding the motor in place. So if you want to take that into consideration here. However, the routing of the motor wires, what I have done is they do provide you with like a little hole here. And what I did is I just stuck the wire through there and just went all the way in. And um, yeah, it's just like one of the cleanest builds I've ever done on the inside. 
Uh, maybe later on we'll take it apart and take a look at it. But overall, I'm just I just constantly look at it. I have it on my desk here next to me. Uh, I just can't wait to go fly it. Uh, I'm afraid to waterproof it because I really want to fly it without rain first and then see how it is. And um, yeah, that's a, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, and it's, it's a bit it's something different, really, to be honest. This is something super different here. I haven't seen anything like it. It's kind of taken from the Chameleon, but this I believe this came out way before the Chameleon, uh, the Armaton Chameleon. But um, or is it? Yeah, the Armaton Chameleon. Yeah, this is kind of taken from a lot of things here. So, uh, or just you know, it's just it's pretty cool. It's it's just insane, really. And um, yeah, well, that's it, guys. So you guys want to see it? Here it is. Uh, and it's in it, its beauty and its glory and uh, the carbon is just absolutely stunning um, I really I, I don't know what to say that's all I could really say right now guys so uh, just wait up we'll be flying this guy very soon seeing its overall performance we'll be testing the motors seeing how the frames characteristics are seeing if beta flight just stock beta flight will work on it and uh, all that kind of crazy stuff so that's gonna include it for this video guys I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I uh, will see you next time see you guys take care